Crude oil prices are falling on Wednesday despite increased risk appetite. The ruble remained firm at the beginning of the trade. Concerns about the coronavirus outbreak in China may put pressure on commodity prices. Besides, the International Energy Agency reported that a market surplus of a million barrels per day was expected in the first half of this year. This news has outweighed concerns about supply disruptions in Libya. Traders continue keeping an eye on the situation in China, where a new strain of deadly coronavirus is spreading rapidly. This outbreak may have an impact on tourism industry and consumer spending. The virus threat is highly likely to affect Asian economy, as one of the most popular holiday seasons is approaching in China. According to Goldman, the large-scale spread of the disease could push oil prices lower by almost $3. Early in the day, Brent crude edged down by 0.34% compared to the previous close on Tuesday. The benchmark crude was trading at $64.29 per barrel. Likewise, WTI futures dropped by 0.67% and settled at $58. US dollars. Currently, the oil is rather unstable amid declining demand and growing supply from non-OPEC countries. American Petroleum Institute is due to publish its weekly report on crude inventories in the U.S. later in the day. In case of an expected increase of 1 million barrels, oil prices will remain under moderate pressure. The ruble is trading steadily high. However, it has slightly retreated against the U.S. dollar early in the trade. The dollar-ruble pair has formed a short-term upward trend and was trading at the level of 61.95. The trader's reaction to the Russian government reshuffle was rather sluggish. It seems that the ruble is mainly influenced by external factors. Due to the outbreak of coronavirus in China, many currencies of emerging markets slipped into the red zone, having lost 0.3% of their index. Today, most assets of emerging markets continue consolidating gains near the levels of yesterday's close. Negative dynamics in the oil market may encourage traders to sell the ruble. In the course of the session, the US dollar may advance and reach the mark of 62 rubles. Today, the auction on the federal loan bonds will take place for the first time since the appointment of the new Russian government. Demand for the federal bonds will indicate the reaction of the market participants to the political situation in Russia and changes in the budget policy. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.